Okay, we're going to give this a try. Welcome to the studio window. We're using a new software, EV Mux, and we're trying to build this thing. And so this is going to be a, an unmitigated disaster. But here we are with Michelle Paul. And the disaster is not disaster his fault. on my end anyway. No, no, you're 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 we're celebrating your art. We're going to be looking today um in, in this episode of Studio Window. And here we've got, look at, actually, we have the art, the actual studio as our background. Isn't that precious? Maybe a bit on the nose. But today we're going to talk about your painting, Blue Shade Red Door, right? And uh, this nice. is one that you did. When did you do this? I've did, this is this probably about two years ago now, Dave. I started yeah. it, um, yeah, and two and a half years ago. And, well, and then I finished it during COVID and, um, yeah. and it was sold last year. Yeah. Yeah. And this was around, I believe, when I first met you. It was. My name is Michael Paul and um, I'm originally from Maine, I'm from up north. This is when we first, I've been down first met. Portland for about 30 years. Yeah. Seems and like I'm yesterday, there. Dave. Just took a passion to painting about. Really like seems like a long road. Ago. There we go. It's, that picture was taken on Corner Stroutwater and Conger Street in Portland. Okay. And I've almost like wanted to knock on the people's door just to ask, hey, I painted so, your house. Yeah, that was it. That was all you said about it then, wanting to knock on their door. But that was back when you were first That's in right. the studio and all. And so now you sold this, right? Yeah, I sold that one. Actually, it'll be a year this coming January. Yes. To and a woman and a gentleman from um, California. And they're building a home here in Maine. And she just loved the light on that. She said it reminded her of Maine. And um, so she wants it for their new home that they're building. Yeah. So well, that was um, exciting. It was exciting. Yeah. And so uh, tell me, though, just about the painting a little bit. Well, the painting itself, this is an actual home that is right out Conquer Street in Portland. Mm -hmm. So I live in Hollowell, obviously. So um, it's probably about, about an hour away. I took this photo. I want to say early 2000s. I was coming back from the uh, jet port in Portland. And this house is directly across the street as you you were coming out of the um, entrance from the jet port. There's Stephen, uh, excuse me, uh, Conger Street right there. And it's right on the corner. And it was like late September beautiful fall day and i just saw this blue house with the most beautiful trees that were all yellow in the front of it and uh, i just snapped a photo of it and i'd say probably about three years ago four years ago i was looking to, through my photos and i wanted to have something i was having some issues with doing shading with painting because again i'm self-taught so a lot of it is just you know i wasn't too sure how to do it so I found this photo and I'm like, oh my gosh, I, I remember how beautiful this was. And um, so I did one and I um, gave that away as a gift, which I did a lot of when I was, you know, on my first paintings. And the person that um, has it now said, oh my Lord, this is such a beautiful painting. You need to, and I'm like, well, I'll just paint it again. So it's a little different. This one's larger and I had so much fun with it, but. Yeah, it's a it's a beautiful house yeah. and it's there and it's still painted blue. And as a matter of fact, I should have taken a photo of it a couple of weeks ago when I went by it. Yeah, um, the trees weren't as vivid this year as they are in this photo or in this painting. But yeah, um, yeah. well, because you know you got it back recently to get pictures taken I, for the prints, right? Because now you I, can sell prints of it, right? As a matter of fact, Dave, I still have this painting. It's upstairs. Oh, she hasn't taken it yet? She hasn't picked it up yet because she is on a trip to London and on her way back right. through, they're going to be coming back to Maine and she's going to pick it up uh, then. So, yeah, so I still I own it. Duck picture, so, you know, it's the loon. In but, my living room. But, look. Oh, my that? Lord, look at that. I'm going to be sending that to you. Do so I get yeah, one of those? Gonna, what? Am I going to get one of those? You're getting this one. Okay, that's awesome. This exact one, um, okay. and, uh, I don't know how well that, that shot in the picture. You no, know, maybe, maybe I should, uh, you know, understand about focal lengths a little better. As if the, there we go. That looks a little better. That looks and good. So, uh, oh my yeah, we, we got, 
you upset of that too with it we we're going to be adding that to we'll be adding that to the gift shop but um so you can have that and i think it'll be really great um so that's cool a, a picture there and yeah. i like i said that was the first thing and oh speaking of the first time we met right uh, do you, i i got i got to play uh for people on this is my partner john Hey, yeah, John. Bigfoot footage. Hey, this is as much as we've ever hey, got. Hey, John. How you doing? John. Hey, John. Oh, hey, that's John. Hey, John. Oh, that's getting him. annoying. Let's pop that. Hey, John. Hey, let's do something even more annoying, because I really want to put this out on the internet. Hey, John. Has it been two years since we met? Oh, my gosh. Look at that. <laughs> I, I don't want to play that too long. Uh, this thing loops. I had it looping for a few minutes. It almost killed me. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually very disappointed that when I slowed it down, I mean, I could have silenced it, but when I slowed it down, it wasn't, hey, John. It was more, hey, John. Oh, uh, was it? I guess I'm a squeaky, squeakier person than I thought. See, everyone, Bigfoot is right here in Maine, and nobody even knew it. Uh, it's, we just, that's the only uh, yeah, on footage. That's the only sighting. <laughs> that you'll ever see. I mean, he, he, he boot scoots and boogies out. Like, he does. He did it right before we started the session, didn't he? So, yeah, he did. Um, so, so that's cool. You've you've still got that, and um, this has been something we never did talk about. It's a beautiful picture, uh, and uh, I I've always liked it. And uh, so, Ed, you're like I say, now you're 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 selling prints of it, and that's I cool. do. Yeah, you know what? All of this. John's been amazing through this. And if people don't know John, he's my partner in business and in life. And we just talk, we've been talking for about a year about doing prints of my soul, yeah. of my soul paintings. And obviously this is one of them. And um, there's a few others. And so he found us a wonderful place in Westbrook to go you know, get the prints done. And they're in the studio now to be purchased for the holidays. Uh, but they're, I just can't believe how beautiful they look and how hard he's worked on doing this. I mean, yeah, well, he he and and he we should give him a, all due recognition of being there, and he's he's been a, a good at getting things places and yes, um, um, and he has to put up with me, so you know, God love him. But it's uh, been it's been fun, and he's doing a great job, and we will do a. I'll send you some pictures of the ones that are ready, the prints that are done. And people are coming into the studio and even the that blue house, the uh, blue shade red door, it looks like an actual painting. It really does. It's archival paper. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. And people are like, that's not a print. I'm like, it is. So, I mean, they're really doing a wonderful job to capture the, um, yeah. all of the shadows and the coloring is beautiful perfectly matched and what i like about this is this place that john's been going to um they prefer that you have the actual painting so i've had to make a few phone calls can i have my painting back off your wall so we can get it printed and so far man my collectors have been amazing they're just like yeah absolutely so um stay tuned i think i, I know i have the um, clothesline and yeah. my actual first girl that sold before we even opened up the studio. Cool. Yeah. So, so we have some good ones. So, by the way, speaking of uh, partners here, you know, here we have Lori's latest. Lori has been working since she got home. And um, one thing, this is our kitchen table, right? So <laughs> what it looks like. And um, what it's Lori's, a what you got there is she uh has to resin these things and so she puts the resin on and then puts this box over them and so she can only do a few at a time but i actually went in and these are you know i this was this is what i found so i i looky lewd here and i said all right let's see what we got and um we've got the ghost flowers she has new ghost flowers that look i really love the nice. ghost flowers and then she's got a more of a bending tree here and uh, here's a better shot of the ghost flowers, right? And I just think that those are really, really sharp. So I keep uh, I keep wanting to do it on a horizontal tile so I could there's right. one thing I could do with that, for, you know, in terms of putting it on merchandise and cards and other things. But 
Um, here's this is a six by six. Uh, is that a six by six? It looks wonderful, Dave. Yeah. I love her work, and I can't wait to see more of it. Well, look at that one. This is newer, right? So she's got this is kind of like okay, we haven't seen this design as much. Um, nice. And then, of course, here it's Christmas time, which means she's got to do the freaking Christmas trees. And um, that's always, I got to tell you, uh, she really has like, this takes hours. Right, for you told me it takes her a long time to do those. Right. Cause you know, when she, you know, she's putting alcohol on top of al you know, alcohol on you top know, of the ink? ink on top of alcohol. And so it, it, you know, it's very hard to not get it to dissolve what's under it. It doesn't layer quite, quite like oils do, you know, and so, and she has to completely dry it and then, very gently get it on. I need, to, I need to learn how to do that. I can't wait to see my Lori again because she keeps yeah. saying we're going to try it, but I'm gonna, every time we're together, we run out of time. But I, I would love to learn that process. Yeah, and uh, it's just, you know, we had such trouble this summer. It's humidity. Humidity is right. the enemy. And even here with air conditioning on it, it's really difficult. So, But anyway, so those are some of her latest. And so, you know, it's Christmas time when Lori's starting to do that stuff. And let me go to the main moment. Yay. And here we've got kind of a nice shot of in the background here of the lake. And I wanted to uh, uh, share um, this was this was let me share this one. This was a I did this summer. Oh, look at that. You guys are so lucky to have those loons right in front of your summer camp yeah. in Maine. I mean, it's just beautiful. Well, I went out I went out looking for these guys, <laughs> you know, but they're uh, near. in the morning. And um, that was very much. Wow. Uh, and we'll just go through. Yep, yep. Hollowell and the Kennebec credits. One more time. Just. I love how they do that, right? They, they get their look at their that things out, um, and these guys were really showing off. And then, of course, it's time to go eat. It's breakfast time, and all in like five months. Uh, yeah. Wow, that's neat. I would like to see that in person. I'm gonna come check it out next summer. Yeah, well, you got to be there in the morning for that I, stuff. I, well, I can do it, I guess. You give me a wake up call at four. <laughs> All right, so here's another one, right? Here is, you know, I have that pic, that picture, second sunset, that froze uh, everything in time. That is so and cool. And this is, you know, this is just the lightning that came from it, and. Um, what was just weird, and I guess the point is, you hear the, you hear the birds, right? You hear nature. You do. What don't you hear? Thunder. There's no thunder. This is the weirdest thing to me. Is we so it was lightning. just lightning. It's just cloud to cloud lightning way off in the distance, and cool. Just no thunder, right? So, and that is the picture I got at the very end there. Uh, from that so um great job yeah that well thank you uh the, showing a <laughs> main moment segment dave shows off uh but these are the things we like about being up there well i've had a few people come in to see your cards that you've done of that photo yeah. and they're like oh look at that sunset and i'm like you're not gonna believe it it's not a sunset it's actual lightning that um, you know that Dave Hayes was able to capture, and it's be they're beautiful cards. They really are. Yeah, and here's the shot uh, from across the lake, right? Uh, as right. we, uh, uh, and that's just kind of what I have looking out there. Uh, I don't know what what it does, but you get those glass like moments, right? Um, and so that's kind of pretty. Uh, one thing that I was thinking as we you know as we get together and talk is just right. art news right i mean we've been talking about you know okay this is my painting this is your painting and here's 
uh, Carol Sturrow's painting on the wall there. Uh, yeah. Here, here's the thing. I go out and I say, we need art news. So I type in art news, right? Like, I don't right. know what topic. And there's apparently a magazine called Art News. <laughs> so that's what I get. Go figure. And right <laughs> off the bat, what we get there is... And I just looked at this article and I was like, okay, this is what the hoity-toity people are buying and selling for millions of dollars. And so this is what the cool people are buying and selling. This is what the cool so people awesome. are buying and what the legendary people, I guess, have sold. Exactly. Now, this abstract, um, I don't know if you could see, it's it's harder to see. Uh, there's actual, it's 3D. Those are cloths that are adhered to the painting. And so How they neat. stand out, right? And you can see kind of I'm on the corner, in. right right next to your ear right there, you can right. see one of them is outside of the frame, right? And so you can kind right. of do that. So that was a kind of interesting multimedia thing. Um, and then we have, this is on corrugated steel, right? Um, and... It's corrugated fences on concrete barriers. And wow. so kind of, again, just interesting media Amazing. there uh, and really going beyond, right? Like you've got concrete barriers. Uh, and seeing stuff like that reminds me of a, you know, New York, the Soho district. Yeah. Really pop. Since it became very popular. Um, Never been, but I trust you. I, I trust you. Um, we ended up using. Did you lose me? Um, do, no, you're still here. Okay. I had a little blink there. Um, what we got, though, is what I was saying is in Soho, they went into all these apartment complexes. They made apartments out of lofts, right? And out okay. of these industrial spaces. There we go. Now I'm getting there. Um, and part of the reason was that like guys like Andy Warhol and Jackson Pollock were, were doing these canvases that are, are, you know, 10, 12, you know, these huge canvases. And you couldn't, in most apartments in New York, you couldn't even get it up to your floor. I mean, how do you, if you don't have a freight elevator, right. how do you get something like this? And then the doorway, right? These things would be bigger than, sure. you know, would fit in a doorway. So the Soho spaces, if you were an art collector, became so important. And, you know, having that freight elevator was really great. So you could cart in whatever fever dream Andy Warhol <laughs> put on a, a cool. 12 foot wide canvas then you put that on your wall and then it's like you you had a a, a mural made right because yeah, it's so I mean, large it's and, the, insane, and the rooms are so insane, small insanely large stuff yeah. but um cool. looking forward now well, here's that's another nice. um thing although what <laughs> kind of kind of that what was that toast that you, your jj's loon oh kind of has those blue purple, toast yeah but, you know, okay, so here's abstract and here's just some things. And this is, um, you know, a, 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 a interesting piece, I think. But it is. Um, I, I kind of am like looking at abstracts when they have more aspects that. to them. And, well, all right, I didn't. <laughs> this one's library. This is more surreal. Right. We have all these library books. I'm not sure whether they're supposed to be underwater or this is some kind of burning landscape. But I don't know. It almost looks like a water scene to me from here. Yeah. It's really, really cool, though. And I love the books around the edge, if that's what yeah. those are. Because I have a I, I did. I got a detail photo of that. Right. And so the frame is these books on side. So, again, God only knows how heavy this thing is. <laughs> you know, the installation on this puppy is probably difficult. But again, I've never seen anything like that. That's so neat. Multimedia kind of taking it a step forward. Right. Um, but I think here we have, all right, this is Lucia, Lucia Laguna um, in, in Buenos Aires, right? Wow. And now. Now we're, we're, we're abstract here, right? She is breaking things up, but there are recognizable elements. She's almost got 
a Rubik's cube going here. And um, she's interesting because she uh, didn't start painting until she was 57. And Yay, my kind of woman. Right. I, I love it. She was like I me. I was 50. I love it. It's a woman of a certain age, just like yeah. our, our certain age. Uh, and just in breaking things up, she's taking things and rearranging them. And, and this is really, um, like this that. hit me because, you know, there's so many pictures that I get of like Hollowell and their little detail shots. And, right. and like, they don't stand alone, but kind of doing what she did right with photos and you know more of collage or oriented but also just in general you know what you know what i thought about you had the painting you were going to do for old hollowell day where you had the four frames right i gotta yes remember the I'm, four I'm, different yeah. scenes in hollowell yeah. yeah and you were starting down that route but you still had it like a four panels right and then right. i see how she and because she does this in other things um, by the way, uh, Pesa Gem, Pesa, I, I can't, I don't know the Portuguese pronounce. That's that word there, uh, is Portuguese for landscape in English. It would be landscape number 134. <laughs> um, I had to look done in 2022. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. She's, she's, she's current and she's doing stuff and, uh, uh, you can go online and see her studio and it, uh, it actually put me in mind of a main artist, Aaron Seegers, whose studio we went to see a uh, year before last. She was like the first artist I interviewed uh, like a week before I met you. Um, and but just that mixed media and also just the idea of pulling elements. You know, she pulls elements from Buenos Aires and and puts them in. So I thought that was really kind of I cool. love it. It's really cool. The colors um, are are beautiful. I just it's a palette that I like. Is that her? And here she is. Yeah. And so nice. I wanted to bring the you know, because we like the artist, right? And so she's Of course we do. Yeah, we'd be hanging out with her. I uh, like all art. People will come in here sometimes in the studio and say, you know what I'm like, I paint a certain way, but I love all of this art that I have in here, whether it's abstract or you know, it's just really, really um, fun to look at. I just love it. Now, here's another guy, right? Shay Loveless. Uh, this is, all right. And it was large broad walk bathers, right? And that's what Art News had it listed as. I'm like, are you sure you didn't mean boardwalk? I was going to say, I thought, are you sure it's but a boardwalk? Broadwalk, I, I get double, it. I was double checking, so I don't know if it was a typo <laughs> or whether in Trinidad, this this guy's from Trinidad, right? Okay. And so it could be that it's called a broadwalk there. I don't know. Uh, so let's not question. Uh, what I thought was interesting is, again, he's bringing in these different views. The surreal, more surreal nature of the people in there. You know, and I find that people are back into buying art. I think I don't know. I hear that from people coming into the studio. They're like, you know, we used to buy art. We haven't done it in a while, you know, and it's yeah. just I think people are getting back into it for what, it, you know, for all kinds of reasons. But just because they own a piece of art, of work that comes from someone that they know that person, the artist themselves have like yeah. put their heart and soul into it. And, um, and that means a lot to people. I mean, I, it can be expensive. I get it, but yeah. it's something that you'll have and you know, you can pass down. So yeah, I love and, the fact that people are back into art. I think it's a great thing. And it's cool. And I like, you know, I like seeing it. I'm, I like being exposed to it and being exposed to the artists here. And, uh, but the thing I, I, what, what I thought of here is, you know, you had your, um painting of your father right and i wish i could, yeah. pull, could pull that up right now but i wasn't thinking but in some ways the way he represents people in his various paintings with the 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 colors and the light you know i'm like you know that might i don't know you might think about that right you know uh I, just having a little bit more surrealism to the people or abstract right. to the because but there was something about how you you don't have a photographic image of your father but you nailed it right you nailed no, it right 
right? According to your sister, right? When I was talking to her, she's like, oh, no, that's our dad, you know, right there. We, we knew it immediately. Yeah. And so I just was looking at these guys and, oh, by the way, here's Shay. Um, uh, so hey, hi, Shay. <laughs> handsome guy. He's a little, not as old as us, maybe, but he's painting uh, in Trinidad. So he, he looks pretty cool. Um, yeah, he does. Trinidad kind of, you know, he's somebody who lives in a place where lots of people from away come. So there's, <laughs> there's a similarity right there, I guess. The talent out there is just amazing. Oh, those are really, really nice. Yeah. And, but Lupin. <laughs> well, I've been the there. Lupin gallery, you always are on me. You like to Monhegan <laughs> shame me. Uh, I, I think it's just now getting to be amusing. <laughs> Um, but no, we're going to go to Mahi. We're going to go to Mahi. Right. But what, this may be one place to go, the Lupin Gallery. And they had this uh, artist. When I, I, I looked up Monhegan right. artists. And um, and the Lupin Gallery had uh, Jessica Lee Ives, right? And so here, uh, fairly look like in this picture, they're fairly small paintings. But when we go in and we get to some detail here. Look at that right? detail. Look at the water. Right. And this is it, this is what I find interesting is you're more like this, right? This is probably more what you would be like, oh, I really want to do that. Right. Um, so there's this realism. And she just has such beautiful, so you see these folks in the water. Um, and then she Look calls this outward bound. Right. That's yeah. that famous red house on Monhegan. So many artists have painted that. I do have photos of it. I haven't done it yet, um, but I've seen that in person and it is so neat. And it's right off the boat launch to the right of it. And yeah. that boat launch, and I'm assuming the person swimming, when you get to the boat launch or when you leave to take the boat yeah. back to the mainland, um, the kids that live there in the summertime will actually go on the end of the dock and jump into the water as a farewell, goodbye. That's the way they, you know, see you later kind of a thing. And the yeah. kids all jump in the water and they swim there. And I'm assuming she was up there on the dock taking these photos. There, it's. I mean, this painting is beautiful. And I, and I wonder if it's just something about like you're in Maine, so uh, realism makes more sense right because you know it's so beautiful everything well, around you and you try to exactly well them. dave you got you know we've got the four seasons so i'll do some winter scenes and then spring comes then you got your summer is is short but so beautiful and so it allows you to get these shots like that and that's yeah. why i do a lot of flowers i do a lot of fences and cabins and cottages and stuff because it's just what speaks to me but um I struggle with water sometimes, so I force myself to paint water more often, or I need to, you know, to get myself to paint water more often. But this is beautiful. I love that. Yeah, and nice. I, I really like it. And this is someone who, you know, I actually really kind of want <laughs> to buy some of her stuff. You know, talk about uh, buying things. But um, I think I think that was our last one we had at first. But. Um, and so uh, she just was there in the Lupin Gallery. You know, there's so many people there. Uh, I'd like to, as we do these these podcast webcast things, and you know, as, right. I, as I get better at doing them, uh, okay, I'll, you know, but, uh, it'd be great to like call, you know, like call into them. And if they've got internet out there in Monhegan, I don't know. Yeah, uh, let's not make it all about me. I want to talk about I want to talk to these artists and well, some of the artists that we have. It is all about you. I know. Well, some of the artists that we have in the studio, you yeah. know, maybe we can get them on here. You know, I'll talk to them. Oh, yeah, absolutely. We that's what I want to do is find out what makes them choose, you know, what they do for, for their art. It's just, I mean, I have watercolors in here. We have sculptures. We have gouache. We have acrylics. And... I never thought that I was going to have that in my studio. I mean, I'm just this little old man painting oil paintings on his own, you know, and now it's like I'm being introduced to a lot of new things and um, it's exciting. Yeah. And speaking yeah. of being introduced to new things, I'm actually been it's Jessica eyes. I love that. up here and almost had, almost had that transition pretty good. Um, but right. As we move on to our 
Uh, next segment, see, that wasn't that bad. The on the Kennebec. Uh, one of the things I had is, is this guy here, right? If I move him down there, you can see um, how I, I, this is that, this, this, this is a cormorant, right? And this okay. is right up in the Kennebec up, up river from, uh, it, it, you can see it from Granite City Park, right? It's just up, up that river, up the way. It's on the other side. This right is, off my deck. <laughs> this is the guy who was like the first thing I filmed when I got my boat. I bought the boat and I finally, after all these troubles, getting it ready and finally right. the rain clearing. This is my first chance to get on the Kennebec after like a month of trying. And this guy, and in like the next few seconds, he turns around and craps in the water in front of me. Um, and so I was like, thank you very much. Thanks, but he is now immortalized as my mascot here so there nice. we go but if we look at the slides there there he is a little close-up of this dude um, that's a photo right that's a photo right may i paint this young man uh yeah you, i mean you actually you have this photo in your studio right uh uh with your with your yeah it's in that bin of things there yeah, I'm going to paint that. Cool. I'm going to do that. Thank you. This guy's cool, and he's kind of my 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 mascot and logo. After some technical discussion here, we're going to just play this video. Okay. Uh, and I don't think Michelle Paul can see it, but everyone else is going to be able to. And I won't talk. Let's I'll go into the woods. Pretend watch. I'm missing something. Oh so yeah. I have the music. Nice Sounds like summer. Yeah, this meadow was really pretty. Uh, and we got a shot of it later. You had to walk like a mile and a half to get to this place. And uh, but we get out there, beautiful, and we're looking at the Kennebec River. Uh, and fun, we had a little bit of clouds. I actually flew the drone around. My first glory is here with the gods called time. And I finally <laughs> disappeared. I finally found it with the drone. <laughs> but and I did get some aerial shots of it. Uh, really beautiful place. And uh, the slides, because you can at least get But that's the bit I got there. And back to you can can you see the slides? No. I still have a still of the uh, the bridge. All right, that's the slide. Okay. All right, so you can see. So you were talking about this bridge, right? right? This is the bridge that we went over on the way, and you were talking about a similar one. I was. Uh, share? You want me to share? Okay. No, there is. this just reminds me of a painting that I did. One of my very first paintings from probably about a dozen years ago or 10 years ago. Um, it's There's a park in South Portland. I lived in, in Portland at the time and um, it's called Hinkley Park and there's a cool little bridge like that a little wooden bridge with the rails and a little bit of water running underneath it but it's basically a meadow like that and then in the uh, the background you have trees the foreground's really kind of cool just very yeah. similar to this and I snapped a photo of it I love that see and now I see oh man that's really cool the that cloud is... reflection on that Dave is amazing but anyway, yeah. so I did a painting of it and I was painting um, in front of a window in Portland in the old port and a gentleman walked by, he used to be the mayor in Portland and he bought it right off the easel. He loved it, recognized it. And that always makes you feel good when you're painting something. People are like, I've been there. I know what that is. And he just had to have it. So that was pretty cool. It reminds me of that. And this shot here with the clouds is gorgeous. Yeah. And it, it really did, you know, I, 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 I swear I was like pissed the whole day, like, God damn it, the clouds and I'm not getting any light. And then, and then they would do something interesting. And, uh, so yeah. And this is the view from that bridge out that's and that's nice. the Kennebec. You're looking, obviously this is flowing into the Kennebec there. Um, and then if we keep going, here is the lighthouse, another view on it. Nice. Um, landscape view. And again, I was like, oh, the lighting is, I, I want the lighting from Beautiful. the other side. And then, 
it looks like a goddamn Wyeth painting. And I'm like, oh, okay, let's go. Look at this. I mean, the sky above the lighthouse, above those clouds is beautiful. It's like a cerulean. And then you've got, you know, I just love it. I think it's really, really cool. There's a lot of nice light. The clouds are perfect. Yeah. Yet again, that's a place I haven't been to. Here I am. I'm a Mainer, right? And you're from North Carolina and you've been there. So I need to take you to Monhegan and you need to take me to these little secret places with you when, you know, this next coming summer. That Look at that. That's a painting to be done. Yeah, that's there. Here we have the uh, the lighthouse and obviously the, the keeper's house. Uh, and so that was and this is looking up the Kennebec and in the corner there, just over the like the shoulder of the White House, it almost looks like that's Phippsburg Congregational Church. That's Phippsburg, where Chris Cart's from, uh, on the other side of the river. That's who was talking about this. Was Chris Cart, yeah. local artist? Yes, that's I, right. I, I have. A, I'm sending you a T-shirt for him. When okay, when you get your T-shirts. There'll be one in a package with the lighthouse on it. That's for Chris Cart. Okay, <laughs> sounds great. Oh, he'll love that. And, um, and then we have. Now, this is kind of, I always thought this is interesting. This guy is uh, a, this is the uh, lifeboat house, right? Is it a boat house? Oh, it, it is. It, and it, just to zoom in a little more, down towards the river, there was a, a ramp, right, that the lifeboat would slide down in the water to go out. And so sure. the the place is built on a uh a, it's built on a slope right and they had to they built the, the the whole thing on a slope but they had to uh still put the put, put the window in up it's plum right it's really cool and so you end up with this this kind of this this slanty thing and of course the red shingles really sell the place i mean Imagine this place that they just had boring black or gray shingles, yeah, no. right? We wouldn't give a crap about it, but somebody had the good sense to put some red ones. But out. you know, it's really cool. If you were to paint this as what you see, and it's a great photo. I like the composition. Um, you know, it's got nice angles in it and stuff. Um, people would be like, that house is crooked or that, you oh, know, that garage or whatever they would, the, you know, that outbuilding is crooked. You know, it's at a slant. You you know, you got to make straight lines. And it's like, no, that's the way it is. The way it is. I just love that. It's really neat. It's the way it is. And Hey, and Dave, is there water in there or is it on the no, actual it, land? It, is it, it like a boat slope? slope like, you... It's on the banks. Like they had a ramp okay. that would go down into the water. To, okay, and so the the idea with a lifeboat is you you let it slide down. Got it, got it. But then, but then in tribute to Laurie, I always you know this is uh, Laurie and the dogs. God uh, love And th this is actually I just got done flying the drone. This is where I was standing to fly the drone, and there, you know, Quill is over my shit. <laughs> Quill is. Quill is sitting there looking at me like, "What the hell are you doing? What are you um, doing?" And so. This is the thing when I go out for these things, I end up I end up spending all this time looking for the photographs. Well, they should be happy that you took them on this trip anyways, because sometimes I know, you know, it's hard to take the dogs with you. But that's a great photo of, of both uh, of them and Lori. Ed, I got to tell you, I uh, when I was up there in October, I went to Moxie Falls and yeah. we'll look at that at some point. Uh, and uh, I went in and and. Uh, I just the entire time I was there, I, you know, I was like running it and I was going quick because I'd been all over Moosehead Lake and right. I, I just really went. That's a haul I, up there. Yeah. 20 miles on a logging road. I mean, Jesus, uh, to get to this place, but um, to get uh, from Moosehead Lake back down to Moxie Falls. And the thing was uh, the whole time I was like, thank God, the dogs. Uh, the dogs. <laughs> yeah. And you were like, just trying I'm... to get that perfect fall picture. And oh. it has, I mean, it hasn't been a great fall, or not around no. here anyways, as far as color. The Kennebec, they just kind of like, they were green and then they kind of went rusty, orangey, and then they just all, you know, the leaves fell off. But I guess inland. I, I, so. didn't, I, I didn't miss it. I did get, I did get some foliage and we'll, we'll look at that at some point. Nice. I did get foliage on the lake and okay. uh, especially the last morning I was there, man, it just, 
popped. And the sun came out. Yeah. And, you know. Uh, and it was 82 degrees the day after you left again. You leave and the weather gets nice. I don't know what, you know, there's, I don't I think know there's what a it is. pattern there. <laughs> so anyway, um, so I here we have had another uh, episode of the studio window. Uh, again, we're. Kind of still, this reminds me of the, 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 the accidental one we did the first time. And we're like, what are we doing here? What are we uh, doing? But I think we got some good visuals here. And uh, I hope we can do more of this. Definitely, uh, uh, we will get a couple of these technical issues sorted, I hope. And uh, uh, definitely have people come in. You know who uh, I want to, I'd love to talk to is Jen Card. You know? Jen? Yeah, I Chris's think. wife. Yes, and her work's in here, and people are loving it. I'll uh, I'll reach out to her, Dave. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Well, all right. So we'll call it a day here. We've looked at some stuff. We've talked about some art. Uh, the studio window. We look in. We look out. That's what it's about. So, thanks for joining us. If you made it this far uh, on our rough ride, and uh, we'll we see you next you. time.